Hello everybody and welcome to the class. Are you all ready to learn Japanese today also? Well, we have been doing te form in our previous lessons and today also we will continue doing te forms, how to use te forms in different ways, different forms of te form and also something new about Japan, some kanji characters, a new kotowaza and a lot of other new vocabulary. So well, in the beginning, let us do go over our assignments and let us see what you have done. So well, the first assignment that I gave you was very simple. This is a picture with lot of flat objects over here. You can name the objects. I am sure you know this vocabulary already and you are to ask how many sheets, stamps, envelopes, postcards, airmail are there in the picture. These are the questions. I am sure you were able to do it properly. Then take the most appropriate word from the brackets. So well, let us see what the first one is. Rao san wa toki doki shokudo de tabimas. So they over here is for activity being performed at a certain point or place. Then the second one is ototoi watashi wa taro kun ni aimashita. Past is for ototoi which is a past time expression. The third one is tomodachi wa nihon ni imas. Imas a long sound is for to say or to speak. Imas to be is a single I. Then we have kesa okasan wa keiki o tsukuri mashita. Past is for kesa over here. Tsukai mashita is to use and tsuki mashita is to reach or arrive at a place. Place ni tsuki mashita. Then we have watashi wa mai asa uchi de shinbun o yomimasu. Nomimasu is to drink and yarimasu is informal for shimasu which is to do. Rao san wa shumatsu ni party o shitai wants to do. Shimasho is let's do and shite imasu is in present continuous form. Watashi no imoto wa amerika e itte imasu is in America. Iki masho is let's go and itte kudasai is please go. Kanai wa shokki o kai mashita. So well you can see these different forms of verbs how they are used. This is match group A with group B and let us see what the first one is. Sambon. Bon is the counter for long cylindrical objects. Nimai. Mai is the counter for flat objects as you just did in your assignment in the first one. Kaimas. Ashita. Takai. Takai is also expensive and takai is also high as in height. Hanasu. Kyuhyaku. Ningen. Iriguchi. And you can see over here that iriguchi has a ri. Sometimes it is written like this and sometimes without the ri as well. Daigaku. So a big place of learning is daigaku. Then I think this is all about particles. So let us see what particle to use where. Rao san, reporto o okutte kudasai. Please send. Departo de nani o kaimashita ka? And please, it's nani over here and not nan. Nan is used with numbers most of the time. Strawberry wa nihongo de nan desu ka? De as in in. Tanaka san wa ashita doko e ikimasu ka? Dono dore for choice 
and donna which type of. Asoko no kata wa Tokyo daigaku no sensei desu of Tokyo daigaku. Watashi no machi wa kirei de shizuka na machi desu. So, well, joining two na adjectives, kirei de and shizuka na machi desu or if you remove the machi from here, it is shizuka desu, na is not required. Then hako no naka ni, locational noun over here, nani mo and thus ari masen, meaning nothing. Tokoya to hanaya no aida ni oki na ki ga arimasu. Tokoya is a barber, to hanaya no aida ni, between hanaya and tokoya, oki na ki ga arimasu. Ga over here is for emphasis and oki na, you will notice that oki is an I adjective, na is sometimes used with oki. This is an exception. So, please remember it like this. There are other exceptions as well. We will do them later. Mondai wa omoshirokute kantan desu. Again, we are joining two adjectives, I adjective and na adjective. So, joining I adjective like this, you have to remove the I and put kute for and omoshiroi and easy. If you put na over here with mondai, then it becomes mondai wa omoshirokute kantan na mondai desu. As mondai is not present over here, we have not put mondai over here, then it is just kantan without the na. Shinbun wa doko de utte imasu ka? Place de utte imasu ka? So, I hope your particles are clear now. Well, we have some more matching group A with group B. These are sentences jumbled up. So, let us see. Koko wa densha no shuten desu. Shuten is a terminal. Koko de norikaete kudasai te kudasai. Norikae mas is to change from one mode of transport to another, thus it is norikaete kudasai, please change over here. Otosan wa aruite kaisha e ikimasu. Please remember it is always aruite ikimasu and not ashi de ikimasu for walking. Gakko wa uchi kara toi desu. It is far from my house. Uchi means house and if you use uchi like this, it is for my house. If it is for someone else's house, it is otaku, polite. Shigoto wa nanji ni owarimasu ka? Achira de skoshi matte kudasai. Over there, chotto matte kudasai. Hagaki san mai onegai shimasu. Kono yoshi ni namae o kaite kudasai. Yoshi is paper or sheet or form. Then, Rao san wa sankai no jimushitsu ni imasu. Sankai no jimushitsu means there are other jimushitsu as well, office as well. So, sankai no jimushitsu is being specified. Well, lot of shukudai. I hope you did it properly. So, well, we were doing te imas form of the verb. Te imas. We did a lot of te imas that is continuous tense. Ima watashi wa tatte imas. Ima minasan ni oshiete imas. Ima minasan wa watashi o kiite imas. Shukudai o shite imas. Swatte imas. So, well, te imas is simple, easy to understand, present continuous tense where an action is in progress. Now, 
listen to this conversation. There is something new in this and let us see how much you understand. Rao-san, ashita no gogo jikan arimasu ka? Dou shite desu ka? Ano, terebi o kaitai in desu ga. Ah, watashi wa ii misei shite masu. Ashita issho ni ikimashou ka? Onegai shimasu. Gogo rokuji made shigoto ga arimasu kara, sono ato ikimashou. Ja, terebi o katte, gohan o tabete, ega o mimashou. Ah, yokatta. So well, what is new over here? Let us see. Watashi wa ikkai kono kaiwa o yomimasu kara minasan yoku kiite kudasai. Rao san, ashita no gogo jikan arimasu ka? Dou shite desu ka? Ano, terebi o kaitai desu ga, a, watashi wa ii mese o shitte imasu. Ashita issho ni ikimashou ka? Onegai shimasu. 午後6時まで仕事があるからその後行きましょうじゃあテレビを買ってご飯を食べて映画を見ましょうああよかった Well there is a new pattern over here which you can see in the last line じゃあテレビを買ってご飯を食べて映画を見ましょう That's what we are going to do verb with から So well Rao san, ashita no gogo, afternoon, jikan arimasu ka? Do you have time? Doshite, you have done this word. Why? Doshite desu ka? Ano, when you are starting a conversation, a little hesitant, then you use generally ano, not a n o, but a n o o with a long sound. Teribi o kaitai desu. Kaitai, you have already done. Want to buy desu ga? You leave it incomplete. Ah, watashi wa ii mise o shitte imasu. I know. Shitte imasu means I know. I know of a certain nice place. And the negative is shiri masen. I do not know. Please remember it is either shitte imasu, I know or Shiri masen. There is no other form. Ashita issho ni ikimashou ka? Issho ni you have done. Ikimashou. Let's go. Onegai shimasu is request. You can also say sumimasen. Onegai shimasu. Please, I am sorry, but please could you come with me? Gogo rokuji made shigoto ga aru kara. I have work. Thus, sono ato. Iki masho, and you will notice that in between plain form of verb is being used. Ja, terebi o katte, gohan o tabete, ega o mimasho. Let's buy the TV, have food, and then watch a film. A yokata. So, well, this is this you can see from here from the last line that you can say a lot of things by just using form of the verb and you can convey a lot more in a single sentence and yokata is of course that is really good. I am happy yokata that is great. We can go and have food and watch a film as well. This is again in the script with hiragana and kanji today and of course, you have translation over here. Now, first and foremost, let us practice verb in te form. There are a few pictures here. Well, you have Tanaka-san in the morning wide awake. Mai asa rokuji ni okimasu. Okiru is the verb, group 2 and okite. Then, mai nichi oshiemasu, oshieru and oshiete. Then we have goji ni kairimasu. What is the verb in plain form, dictionary form? Can you tell me? This is group 1, kairu. And te form of the verb? Kaete. So, well, you can see now that in group 2, these two verbs over here, it is just te in te form. And in group 1, kairu 
it is T T E. We have another picture for you over here. Well, let us see what Tanaka san is doing now. Uchi e kaerimasu. Kaeru as you did just now. Kaete then kao o arau. Araimasu. Arau and aratte. Then we have terebi o mimasu. Miru and mite. We we have two group one verbs and one group two verb. You can make out from the TTE and TE. So, well, this is te practice for you. Now, simple te imas form. What we are going to do now is verb in te form plus verb in te form. Two verbs, maximum three verbs put together with mas in the end. You can say a lot of things. Basically, te form as I told you earlier is and in English joining verbs like this and trying to say a lot of things in one sentence. You can read over here. One thing is important with te form and that is the tense is not clear. You do not put the tense with te form. Te form itself is just te form and the tense can be seen from the last mass form in the end. For example, over here, depato e itte kaimono o shite kairi mas. We will go to the department store, do shopping and then return. So, well, this is all about the future. Kino gakko de sensei ni atte hanashi mashita. This is past. Yesterday I met the teacher and had a word with her. So, you can you can see te form does not tell you about the tense, only what comes in the end, the tense is clear from there. So, let us practice. Again, we have the same picture over here. Practice te and te form. Uchi e kairimasu. Kao o araimasu. Terebi o mimasu. So, what are you going to do? Uchi e kaette. Kao o aratte. Terebi o mimasu. So, one after the other you will see that action is always in a sequence. The sequence is very clear with te form. I will do this first, then this and then this in the end. You can practice once again. Mai asa rokuji ni okimasu. Hachiji ni gakko e ikimasu. Goji ni kaerimasu. So well, Tanaka san wa rokuji ni okite. Hachiji ni gakko e itte. Goji ni uchi e kaerimasu. Or also Tanaka san wa mainichi rokuji ni okite. Asa hachiji ni gakko e itte. Gakusei ni nihongo o oshiete, goji ni uchi e kairimasu. So, you can keep adding, but not more than two, maximum three. You can add te form and complete a sentence. Now, I want you to do this on your own. There are these four pictures you can see. Tanaka san gets up in the morning, kocha o nomimasu, is reading a paper and then rushing to office. So, well, let us see what it is. Will you try all of you? What is it? Mai asa rokuji ni okiru is the verb. So, okite, kocha o nomu, kocha o nonde, shimbun o yomu, shimbun o yonde, kaisha e iku, kaisha e iki mas. So, please, junba ni kore o yatte kudasai. Think of a situation and do it like this with your partner. Well, you can see over here that Tanaka san is rushing to office, getting up so late and then having a nice cup of tea in the morning, reading paper as well. Naturally, he has to rush to office and then what happens? 
So let us see. Mai asa rokuji ni okite kocha o nonde, shinbu no yonde kaisha e ikimasu. But he is late if he does all of this. So well what happens? He is rushing off to office, looking at his watch, looking very tense, bothered and what is he thinking? Well, osoi, osoi, osoi means late. Tokei yo ite imasu yo ne, soshite chotto kowai, shinpai shite masu, doshite daro, osoku natte imasu kara chotto shinpai shite masu yo ne, ja nani o kangae te irun desho. Hai, he is thinking of his bucho, his boss, that he is late and he is in trouble. And what happens then? Kaisha de. He is in his bucho's office. Bucho is very, very angry, very, very angry. And he says, Osoku natte sumimasen. Moshiwake arimasen. Osoku natte sumimasen. This expression you have already done once earlier. Osoku natte sumimasen. I am sorry, I am late. Moshiwake arimasen. I am extremely sorry. This is an apology with osoku natte sumimasen. Moshiwake arimasen. I am very, very sorry that I am late. And Bucho is of course very angry. Over here, the only thing is that you have to bow a little and then say Moshiwake arimasen. Please remember that. This is an expression used very commonly if you are late. Most of the time, in fact, when you are late, Moshiwake arimasen, osoku natte sumimasen. And then he is saying, Mata soyo Yamada kun. It could be the other way around also. He could say Mata Osoyo Yamada kun first and then he could apologize. Or before he says this, he starts Yamada kun starts apologizing. Either way, it is all right. Then, now in our last uh, class, we had done Te Imas form, of course. which shows an action in progress. An action was happening now, it is going to happen now, it is happening now and is also happening now for a short while and then that action stops. So, in continuous tense. Today, we will do te imas again, but it shows a condition. You are living a state. Now, what does that mean? It means that for example, if you say I am married, ke kon shite i mas, ke kon shite i mas. That means that you are married, you are living that state, you are in that state. So that is another continuous tense, which we are going to do today. The te i mas form. Te imas also indicates and emphasizes a state or a condition rather than an action in progress. So, for example, you have ke kon shite imas. You can also say, for example, okane o motte imas. Okane o motte imas. You could say kamera o. Motte imas. I have, I possess. So, that is another uh, way of using te imas form. You will see here when we practice, there is a picture of Tanaka san and Mariko san over here, and let us see what they are doing. Tanaka san is taking a picture. So, Tanaka san wa shashin o totte imas. This is, this is an action in progress. Tanaka san wa Mariko san no shashin o totte imasu. Now, over here we can also say Tanaka san wa kamera o motte imasu. He has a camera in this te imasu construction. There is another one you have Tanaka san 
in Japan. So, well, Tanaka san wa or Rao san wa doko ni imasu ka? You can ask a question, Rao san wa doko ni imasu ka? Rao san wa Nihon ni sunde imasu. He is living in Japan. So, he is in a state. It is not going to finish now in next 5 minutes or it is not going to finish in another half an hour, one hour. He is living that condition, that state that is Rao san wa Nihon ni sunde imasu. Te imasu or de imasu form. So, well, now let us practice this small kaiwa. How to use these words? How to make simple conversation with these words and this te imasu form? Rao san, kaisha wa dochira desu ka? Watashi wa ABC ginko, name of the ginko ni stomete imasu. I am working over there. Mainichi isogashi desu ka? So desu. Mainichi isogashi desu. Arun san wa has been left incomplete with a rising intonation. Watashi wa yubin kyoku ni tsutomete imasu. Ii desu ne. Kitte o kaitai toki raku desu ne. Raku is very very convenient or easy. Kitte o kaitai toki. Toki is time at the time of stamps it is very very easy that is when you want to buy stamps it is very convenient for you you are in the yubing kyoku so well you can change abc ginko for any gakko toshokan library or bioing hospital and yubing kyoku for daigaku shokudo depato any of this that is given over here one thing which is new is dochira. Dochira. There was a word achira earlier in your shukudai, your assignment. It is of the same series. We have done it earlier once. It is similar to koko, soko, asoko and doko over here, over here, sochira and kochira. Kochira means over here, sochira means over there, achira means that over there and dochira means where. It is used for location, it is used for direction. Dozo kochira e kite kudasai please come over here and also dochira the way it is used over here is very very typical over here a san is asking rao san kaisha wa dochira desu ka meaning literal meaning is where is your office it is used in that way also but the basic meaning of this sentence is where do you work? So, this is an exception kaisha wa kaisha wa dochira desu ka? This is an exception. This is how you would ask where a person is working. The meaning you get from here is where is your office, but what you want to know is where are you working. Now, we have been doing katakana, have completed number of syllables. Well, let us see what we have here. We have the ha series, simple line 1, line 2. You can see the stroke order. It is important because you have seen that in uh, the script we write hiragana, katakana and kanji simultaneously. So, well you have to learn katakana, kanji and hiragana if you want to write and it is given very clearly over here. The stroke order is very clear and ho. 
So, well this is katakana, you have all of it here on one sheet, ha, he, who, he and ho. Now, we have done a number of kanji characters. Of course, I will be doing kanji separately also with you, but a few words here for you which we have covered in our lesson. They are simple, you know the words and we will try to just get the stroke order once and see how many strokes are there to this character. Then, you will see it is made of two characters here, two kanji characters. Well, this is ame, ame means rain, ame also means sugar candy, ame, this is ame, this is rain, this character of course signifies rain, ame. Now, ame here 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13, then denki means electricity. How it is made, from where it has come, we will just see very, very quickly, but before that you can see it is a 13 stroke character. We have another one over here, ki, ki. Ki is 1, 2, this is small, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Ki means soul, the spirit is ki. Then, then like this and ki, then ki, then ki is electricity. So, that is one word you have done already and 6, it is a 6 stroke character, you have done this word denki, now you can do the kanji also. Kuruma or sha, two readings to this, kuruma, you know the word kuruma, kuruma means car, now how is it made, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and then you have a 6 over here. Once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. It is a 7 stroke character, I am sorry I just said 6. So, it is a 7 stroke character, sha or a kuruma. Sha means wheels. So, it is a 7 stroke character. Now, how is denki or electricity? How has it come into being? Well, from clouds, rain, thunder affects the paddy fields and thus it is denki, that is how it is made. So, you have the stroke order, you can practice the stroke order. Now, you have kurma or sha over here, you have the stroke order, how it is made. If you look at a car, well, that is how it is. The base is shown, this is your car, this is your car like this with the four wheels here and this is the base that is shown. This is the base of the car, the wheels of the car and that is how it moves, thus it is sha. Denki is the word, denki means electricity and you have another word which you have done, then sha, then sha means a train and sha means or kuruma means a car, jido sha means a vehicle. Anything moving on, wheels on its own is jido sha which is a vehicle. I have also been telling you about 
proverbs. Now, what are proverbs? You can see it is given kotowaza. What is kotowaza? Kotowaza is koto is a word, koto means word, and waza means using that word very, very smartly in a very intelligent way to say something in short, something that you want to convey in short to people is a kotovaza. So, well there is a very nice kotovaza over here, which tells you so much about the Japanese. It says kabe ni mimi ari, shoji ni me ari. Now, what does this mean? We have this saying in India also in Hindi and I am sure in most of the languages there will be a saying like this kabe ni mimi ari, shoji ni me ari. Kabe is a wall, mimi is ears, me is eyes and doa is door, shoji is the Japanese doors. The kanji characters are also given over here. Now, what does this saying say and what does it tell? Well, it tells that one has to be very careful, one has to be very, very careful about talking and saying what they are saying, especially in Japan, especially because this these sayings are some of them are also from China, the base is in China somewhere. So, well, why? Because the doors in Japan are not concrete doors or concrete walls, are not wooden doors, are not solid stone doors or walls, because of the simple reason that they have earthquakes. So, they could not build it like that. And they are paper doors, sliding panels, sliding screens, which are used as doors. And because they are paper, whatever is said in one room could be easily heard outside, could be misconstrued, could be presented in a different manner completely. So, thus one has to be very, very careful, one has to be very sure of what they are saying, one has to be private as could be misconstrued. So, kabe ni mimi ari, shoji ni me ari. Now, you will see what shoji is right here after the proverb. These are screens, removable panels, sliding panels, which are used as doors in Japan. They are very light, very easy to handle. One very important thing about these doors is that inside the house, even if the doors are closed, the light can come in. So, well, it is not very dark inside, it is nice and bright inside because of the sheets that are used. The paper earlier that was used was handmade paper, was made from mulberry bush, from the mulberry tree or the kozo tree. It was very expensive and difficult for people to, to afford. But now, because of synthetic material coming in, these doors are very easy to make, not very expensive and are affordable as well. So, what you can do with these doors is, you can these sliding panels is, you can remove all the panels of the house and make a big room. You can decorate it very nicely with paintings. You can have the paintings on the doors, decorate them, use white paper on it, can have them as screens, as your lampshades. They look very aesthetic, can be replaced, are, are environment friendly and are becoming very, very popular outside Japan as well for these very reasons. And everything is written about the screens over here. You can read about this and learn more about Japan. These are tatami panels, which are used as flooring material in Japan. These are made out of straw on wooden structures and are easy to handle and eco-friendly as you can see. Now, this is vocabulary for you. You could go over the vocabulary. Stomeru, Hataraku, Toshokan, 
すむ、持つ、遅い、申し訳ない、洗う、買い物、生じ、ふすむ。So well, the meanings are given over here. You can see the meanings. And now, my work ends over here. You have done a lot of new things. You have done new forms today, new vocabulary, learned something about Japan as well. So, well, your assignments are right here for you. Match all of these. The words are given here. You can match them with the pictures. Look at the pictures here and tell what they are doing. Then, Combine the sentences with te form, then write proper expressions. And there is lot of work for you now. You can go home, practice with your partner, look up your lessons, and then we learn something new in our next lesson. So, mina san, mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.